it's K. Welcome to the Leveling Guide for K Spectre Summoner. The Leveling Guide series is targeted towards newer players. This video is a full Act 4 run where I speed up the boring bits. The end of Act Boss fights are a little harder. Don't forget, you can click on the playlist link at the top to see the other acts. There are no gem link changes and I will continue using support specters. I will also show you some useful crafting. Before we get started, I'll show you three useful crafts. If you get a bone spirit shield, you can make a plus one minion helmet. The extra level will give extra life and damage. And it can give an extra specter at gem level 13. First, sail a bone spirit shield, any life flask, and a transmute orb to an NPC. You will get a life flask of animation. Next, sail the flask, an alteration orb, and a blue full link helmet that has four blue sockets. You will get a helmet with plus one to level of socketed minion gem. To finish the act faster, you can use boots with increased movement speed. Craft the boots by selling a quick silver flask, augment all, and any boots. You can also use the crafting bench. And you can even buy them from an NPC. But getting the right colors can be difficult. In the later zone, the monsters can make you bleed, which does a lot of damage if you move. So, you might want to craft an anti-bleed flask. Go to Minajari, which is the red icon with an animal skull. Open the blood altar and put in a flask. I like to use a life flask. Then look for add a mod to a flask and choose staunching. When you click craft, some monsters will come out. After you kill them, the mod will be added to your flask. Okay, that's it for the crafting, so let's get started with the walkthrough. When you exit the Sifter of God, you will be in the Aqueducts. It's a strange song, so just run all the way to the other end, and you will find Highgate, which is the Act 4 time. Remember to check Kira's item shop for any 4 blue linked items. Exit bottom left to the drive lake. Search the zone for Vol. One way to find him is looking for the crafting recipe or book icon on your map. Pick up the Shreds banner and <laughs> don't forget the crafting recipe like me. <laughs> Oops. You can also get a bit of XP before going back to Highgate. Click on District Seal, but don't go into the mine yet. Talk to Oyun and take Stone Golem. If you have a spear red socket, you should put it in. I didn't have one, so I couldn't use it. Now enter the mines. Find your way to level 2 and search for the Shred Spirit, which will be marked with a yellow mark. Now look for the entrance to the crystal veins. The crystal NPC will be near the waypoint.
enter Darius's dream on the right. Then find the Grand Arena and find the King of Blaze, the boss is in this room. Darissu isn't a difficult boss, but his AoE attack can be hard to see. So just stay out of range, avoid the spinning swords, and let your minions do the hard work. Take Eye of Desire and pull to the high gate. and waypoint to crystal veins. But don't forget to get your skill book from Tasuni. Talk to Jiela so she will take the Eye of Desire from your inventory. Then enter Kaun's frame. Almost everything hits with fire damage here, so make sure your fire resistance is okay. Find and enter Calm's stronghold, then look for Calderas of the King. Prepare the fight with Flesh Offering, Holy Flame Totem, and Skeletons, then run in to activate the boss. Try to touch the fireballs while your minions do the hard work. Take Eye of Fury and Portal to Highgate. Take the skill book from Tasuni if you forget to get it earlier. and waypoint back to the crystal veins. Talk to Giala and enter the Valley of the Beast. Make your way to level 2, then find the bubbles of the beast. The monsters here can make you bleed, so I recommend crafting the anti-bleed fast.
This boss can be very difficult. As always, prepare your minions while the boss is talking. Cast skeletons, holy flame totem, desecrate, and flesh your frame. Be happy for me, sister. It's not often we get to erase our The boss will create some big red balls of death. Stay away from them. The boss will also cast a red beam of death, which moves like the hands on the clock. You can first blink to jump through the beam, and cast Convocation to teleport your minions to safety. If you are low on mana, you can also move in time with the beam. Stay close to the boss and stand on the opposite side of the beam. Cast Convocation to move your minions out of danger, and cast Holy Flame Totem to heal them. There's a lot of stuff happening at once, so try not to panic. Now enter the harvest and find the waypoints. Head to the top of the zone to find one mini boss. Then go to the bottom and then the left to find the other two. Go back to Piety to advance the quest. Enter the Black Core. The fight has two parts. In the first part, the boss will stand in the middle and do a weird tentacle attack and a big slam. Keep moving so you don't get hit. There are also flying red balls and landmines that are also red. Try your best to avoid them. After the boss takes some damage, Piety will shout out, kill me, and you need to attack her instead. Then go back to attacking the boss. Then another kill me phase. Then attack the boss again. Piety gets a big spike, and then you can enter the second part. This part has several phases. First, you can damage the boss, and then he will activate a heart of the beast. You need to kill the heart before you can attack the boss again. This happens three times. While attacking the boss, there will be zombies, landmines, flying red balls, and floating red circle of death. Meanwhile, the boss will be doing his tentacle attack and a teleport attack. Try your best to dodge everything. When the boss is dead, click on the black ball to return to Highgate. By Crescent Hit from Peter's Avenger. Take Spell Echo from Diala. Exit to the Ascent. Make your way to the top of the zone to find the Reaver, which has a yellow mark.
click on the lever and enter the obvious portal to go to Act 5. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the leveling guide for Act 4. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching, bye!